Hi everyone, welcome to System Test 1 and we've got the ESP Mag 2 panel, so here it is so uh, today I'm going to be showing you all the devices on the system and then we're going to probably be testing the call points in this video so uh, yeah, let's get started uh, apologies about the cabling, uh, I may try and sort it out in the future um, but for right now I'm going to leave everything as it is so let's go through the devices and also I've also kind of um, put some Christmas lights because it's uh, nearly Christmas um, around my system so um, as you can see I've got some Christmas lights here so uh, yeah let's get uh, let's go through the devices so um, so uh, to start with the detectors all the detectors are on zone 1 and then the core points are on zone 2 so uh, to start with we've got the um, the ESP fire line um, optical smoke detector now I'm not sure uh, I'm going to put the model numbers on the screen, so uh, I think I know a couple of them, but some of them I don't. So, um, yeah, this is the ESP, you might say here, so I might go into fault a second. Um, the ESP Magfire PSD2 optical smoke detector, so uh, there we go. Let's put that back on. Uh, this, this detector also poles as well, so it's got uh, two LEDs. Uh, there's, one, there's one right here. So it's got two LEDs, it does blink, it just takes a minute or so. I just saw it blink then. And there we go, just watch it again. It does blink. I should see it. There we go, so it's very faint, but. And then then we've got the Apollo Series 65 heat detector. And then we've got a Hotchiki photoelectric smoke detector. I'm not sure what model number this is, so. Uh, I will put, try and put the model numbers for some of these detectors on the screen there uh, just to confirm what they are <coughs> so yeah that's got an LED and then we've got a Hachiki um, heat detector it's got two LEDs uh, again I'm not going to put the model number on the screen then we've got an Apollo Series 65 optical smoke detector and then we've got a C-Tech Active and it's got two LEDs, uh, one on the other side. So we've got CTEC Active. Uh, that's got a uh, sounder base on top, so it's a, there's a CTEC Active sounder base with the CTEC Active uh, optical detector. So uh, yeah. And then in zone two, we've got the call point. So we've got the uh, KAC uh, call point, just a standard KAC call point. Uh, this has the uh, Cooper. Full, uh, this has the fully on. Uh, call point uh, plastic glass in it. It's got the plastic element in it, and then we've got the uh, ESP um, mag call point, ESP fire safe call point. There you go. It's got an LED, and then for the sounder, we've got the Roshni sounder. That I think this is on continuous, so the Roshni sounder is on a continuous tone, and then the SeaTac Active sounder base is on. Um, the Apollo evacuation because it sounds quite nice. It sounds like the uh, XP95 Discovery uh, sounder bases. So uh, today we're only going to be testing the call points. Then in the next test we're going to be testing the detector. So um, let's get started. So we're going to activate the call point. Um, let's start with this call point. So uh, the, I do warn you that the sounders are a bit loud. So uh, yeah. So here we go. Let's put the, put, the, put it on. Uh, to turn it on. There we go. The panels on, and let's activate the call point. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it's come up with a general fault. Uh, I'm just going to try again. See if it comes on again. Should come on again. There we go. There we go. So about buzz up. So there we go. Uh, for some reason, shut up. Uh, for some reason, the um, it went into general fault, but I think that's because I removed the detector head for this but it didn't clear up or something so uh, the panel can be a bit weird with that kind of stuff with the faults and that um, when you remove stuff and it doesn't 
actually reset so you have to like actually reset it again and try again but as you can see the call point worked and there's the LED and there we go, you can see it's on zone 2 fire there we go, so uh, let's remove the key and then I'm going to uh, reset it so it won't be a second, I'm just going to reset the call point uh, it's a bit fiddly too so I'm just going to drop the camera a second um, Push it. All we do is just basically uh, push it up, so I'll show you that now. So just push it up, there we go, and we'll just remove the key. And then let's uh, reset the panel. I can find my keys. There we go, so let's reset the panel. Reset silence buzzer. Uh, the buzzer's kind of annoying with this panel, but uh, I think it's fine. So, uh, next, let's test the KC call point with the fully on uh, plastic element. So, here we go. Okay, and I'm going to reset the core point, so I'm going to put the camera down a second, silence the buzzer. So I'm going to uh, reset the core point. There we go. Let's, then we're just going to push it up in a second. There we go, let's push it up. So I do like that the, the fully on uh, plastic element does work with the KAC call point, so that's good. So uh, let's reset the panel. There we go, and then reset. And that's it for the system test, so wait for the LEDs to go out. So that's one way to do a lamp test is to you know check the when you're recessing the LEDs all come up. So that's one way to know um, the lamp test and that. So it, all the LEDs li uh, light up so, that, so it works, so that's good. So uh, that's it for the first system test. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe and like if you haven't already, um, for, as, this will help, as this will help to put more videos out. And in, in the next system test, we'll hopefully test the detectors. So we're going to test uh, all these detectors down here. So I'll make sure we've got a uh, hair dryer and smoke spray ready. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the first test. And yeah, we've got some more tests for this panel to come. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding the panel or the system, let me know. And we'll see you, uh, see you next time for the next video. Bye guys.